today I want to answer a question that pops up all the time. I know specifically because I asked it a whole bunch and I searched all over the internet to see if there was a correct answer. And, you know, like most questions, there isn't really a correct answer. But, hopefully I can give you guys a little bit of my, uh, my thoughts and uh, my opinions on the Iron 883. Is this a good beginner bike? Is this a good first bike? Is this a good bike? Is it worth getting? You know, these things retail for, what, 9000 bucks? Um, if you're going to be spending that kind of penny on a motorcycle, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Um, to, uh, to answer that question right off the bat, you know what my answer is going to be, right? I mean, I own one, so clearly it's worth buying. Um, yes, I recommend it. That, that's the quick answer. Yes, you guys can move on to the next video now. The, the answer is yes, you can go buy one. Um, but really, let, let's, let's, let's talk a little bit about uh, why I chose this bike, why I'm happy with this bike, and uh, why I think other people should get this bike. So for starters, um, let's talk about my riding history. I went and I took the motorcycle safety course uh, earlier this year, and prior to that, I had never been on two wheels. I went into the class without ever being on a motorcycle. I've ridden ATVs, I've, I've driven, you know, manual vehicles, I, I know how shifting works. But, as far as the mechanics of a motorcycle, no, no idea. I really only got into it because my brother, uh, my brother got into it, and uh, he wanted someone to ride with him, so I told him I'd go take the class and see if there's something I'm interested in. Uh, obviously, I left the class with my license, and I pretty much that day started looking motorcycles online. If you are a beginner, there's a couple bikes that uh, you're going to be looking at. And, and obviously this, this retains this classic style bike. You know, if you're into sport bikes, um, or dirt bikes, uh, I'm not your guy to talk to. I have no idea. <clears throat> so, realistically, if you're looking at bikes um, in this range, you've probably just taken your mass safety course. And uh, everyone go take your, your safety course. Come on, don't be stupid. Your mom loves you. Don't die. Ooh, it's a little bumpy. Um, and the bikes you're going to be riding on, if you took it at Harley, are probably going to be the 500. If you took it at a, somewhere else like I did, you're going to be sitting on either a 250 or a 300cc bike. Um, I think mine was like a 1990s Suzuki, some sort of 250. Um, and it's great because they're super light, so you can learn the maneuvers without really dropping them. I don't think anyone dropped the bike in my in my class, and there was 10 of us. Um, but uh, there's not a lot going on with the hood with these things, obviously. If, if you're going to ride it for... You don't want to buy one. Get that. Now, you're going to finish taking that class, and you're going to leave, and unfortunately, there's going to be a gap. There's going to be a jump between this bike, Ooh, look at that, and your next one. Sick bike. It's a live wire, I believe. This thing's a fucking badass. It also costs like 35 grand. You know, one of these days I'm gonna go to the dealership and I'm gonna test for it because that's awesome. Uh, I actually went to a Harley dealership to look at a 500 that they were selling. I think it might have been one of their you know, old instructor bikes. Uh, so I went to the dealership. It was it was on sale, like nothing, like twenty five hundred bucks, something like that, nothing. I went and looked at it, and the bike was beat to hell, absolutely beat to hell. Nothing about this bike looked uh, looked good. And you know, you, you kind of want to look good on your bike, right? You don't want it to look like some dropped out bones, especially if you didn't do it. So that didn't work out. But I was at the dealership. I started looking around a little bit, and I checked out the. Uh, 883 series. You know, I love. If we're getting into the way this bike looks, I love the way this bike looks. This bike looks clean and classic. You know, it, it's a, it's a it's a sportster. It looks fantastic. It's got the drag bars, which unfortunately my height are a little too short, but you know, it's got a cool style. It's got that blacked out look, which everybody likes. It's extremely popular. It's got 
Um, it's got pretty good suspension. It's not fantastic. I got a video on here um, about how to adjust your suspension. You do that. Any new bike, do that. You can always adjust your suspension. It, mine was made from the factory for a guy who weighs 160 pounds. So big 190 plus all, all my weight, all my gear and my uh, equipment. Clearly that doesn't work for me. Oh, my brakes are squeaking a little bit. It's not good. A little like squeaky brakes. Um, yeah, it's not, not fantastic. But, um, yeah, the bike looks great. Uh, just in my my time riding it, I've gotten so many compliments. People love the way it looks. Uh, throw on a new exhaust on there, and you love the way it sounds. Now, we're talking about performance on this thing. It's a 900cc motor, right? A little less, 883. It's a small boat for a Harley. You're not going to be winning any, any races with this boat. Um, my, my street brethren out there are going to be laughing, saying, you know, your, your 900cc bike is less than my uh, my 250 up the line. That's true, but it's not meant to go like that. It's a Harley Davidson. It is a Harley Davidson. Though. That's that's the key. This is a real bike. This is a real motorcycle. It will go fast. You can die on this. You can go as fast as you want, really. Um, off the line. I have not had any issues with acceleration. I've merged the traffic with this thing. I can get up and go pretty quick. It's it's a quick little bike. It weighs nothing. It's like 560 wet, I think. Something like that. So this is a fun intermission, everybody, to talk about. New England. This video is brought to you by New England. This is what a New England town looks like, guys. We're in central Massachusetts right now, and it is early October. Look at those leaves. Don't you want to travel across the country to check out these leaves? Me? No. But people do it, dude. There are plenty of people out there who travel across the world to look at leaves. Now, you know, I, I might be just talking out of my ass a bit because I, uh, I've lived here pretty much my whole life. So seeing the leaves change doesn't mean anything awesome to me. It means it's going about to get cold. Cold as all hell. Um, whatever. What are you going to do? But uh, back to the bike. So it's a 900cc motor. Um, you can you can pretty much do anything you want to this bike, and that is probably the biggest appealing factor to me. I really like the look of the Indian Scouts. Um, in fact, that was the bike that I wanted initially. I wanted a Scout. I wanted a Bobber, uh, Bobber 60. But uh, there's really no aftermarket for these bikes. There really isn't. You, there's not much you can do on them. There there are there are some companies that make some stuff, but. Uh, it's not like the Sportsters. If you go to any website and you type in a, you know, a Sportster, you will find more aftermarket support than you can imagine. You can do anything to this bike. If you go on Instagram and you type in Sportsters, there's a billion of them. Speaking of Sportsters, um, there's a billion things you can do. You know, when I was looking at the exhaust, it was overwhelming the amount of options I had for exhausts. I did end up with the Cobra. Check out that video. Cobras are fantastic. Sounds phenomenal. When you're looking at seats, there's a billion different companies. There's, there's always something you can do on this bike. And if you're kind of the, uh, this guy's gonna go. Nice lady. Now, if you're the kind of person that wants a bike because you want to wrench on it a little bit, this is the bike for you. Uh, the technology in this bike isn't anything crazy. You are sitting on a 1980s motor. Uh, and that's just fact. You're on a 1980s technology, which is fantastic because this bike has stood the test of time. It is a solid platform, and there's a lot you can do to it. I've done quite a bit myself, and I will continue to do it. Um, and, and, the, and that big issue with the, you know, the biggest issue on this bike is the motor, right? You're, you're buying the smallest Harley that's a Harley, in my opinion. You're buying a 900 cc bike. But you know what? You can fix that too. It'll probably cost you more than just going out and buying a 1200 or 48. But if this is your bike, you can change it. Um, there are companies, Screaming Eagle actually, Harley, Harley Davidson makes a conversion kit. Um, you can put new cams in it, you can upgrade the size of the engine, put the heads on it. Um, Hammer Performance makes one. They, they actually make a kit and you can turn this bike into a 120 horsepower monster. Um, that might be in my future, stay tuned. But you can do all this stuff to these bikes. You, you can make it a demon if you really want to. That's why they're so awesome. These bikes are awesome because they can grow with you. I'm very happy with this bike because it's a platform that I can learn on and I can I can make it my own. Will it 
be my last bike I ever own? Probably not. Will I buy different bikes in the future? Absolutely. But this is my first bike, and this is a bike that I'm, I'm really enjoying. Get down a little stuff. All right, guys. Well, that about wraps it up. Uh, I've been rambling for a while now. If, uh, if you got anything out of this, if you, if you enjoyed this video, if uh, you know you want me to keep creating more content, throw, yeah, throw me a subscription, throw me a like, drop a comment below, tell me, tell me I'm an idiot, uh, tell me why uh, you know this is the worst bike ever, tell me why something else is better. That's cool. I'm not interested to hear your opinions. So uh, hit me up, guys, and uh, ride safe, my dudes.